Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be responding to comments on my alt-right and gripers video. This is going to be a good time. Because, um, I mean, if you look at the like to dislike ratio, <laughs> that this is the ideal ratio for someone making quality content. Um, yeah, this is honestly what I was hoping for with this type with, with this video. And yeah, I pretty much got what I was hoping for. So in this video, I gave critiques against common arguments cited by the alt-right and the gripers to give a philosoph and give a philosophical critique of the movement. Well, I'll use the term alt-right to describe the talking points I'm attacking in this video. This video is made in response to my interactions with the gripers, members of Nick Fuentes' America First movement. See this little disclaimer, you already know how I be. Gotta get the disclaimer in here about these gripers. Um, they technically don't consider themselves part of the alt-right. However, I honestly don't see the difference between them. Um, because they have the same fucking talking points. So, God bless Nick Fuentes. America first. <laughs> Good shit, baby. Uh, hide or flies. Hell yeah. Bro, you already know Jeff out here. Knowing how this shit be. Hispanic lo <laughs> Oh my gosh, we gotta hit him with the, with the... Um, anti-Hispanic talking points hit him right back with him, and I love the little, I love the little frog emoji, because that's how you know this dude be in his parents' basement, fucking with his neck beard and fucking jerking off to fucking anime on his on his fucking computer or some shit like that. America first, baby. This video has got some high engagement. I already know this boy Brian. This this boy my dude, bro. He be on all my videos. This poor boy will one day experience diverse. Oh, hold up. My reply. Yes, sir. I love it. I You already know, bro. I love this negative feedback. Um, I'm someone who can take it, you know? I can really take this shit. It's funny because I am so confident that I am right on this shit. And I am have so much self-confidence, so much pride in myself. Um, just because I know that I'm right on this shit. I know what, I know what I'm talking about. Um, these people don't have it though, so they gotta go on these YouTube videos and comment shit to try to make me feel bad about myself, and, or, well, we'll, we'll get to that shit later, you haven't really seen any of the actual negative comments. So this poor boy will one day experience diversity and cultural enrichment. I only hope it is caught on camera. Well, I mean, I did go to, uh, I responded to this, and, um, there's cameras in all the schools I went to, all of them were filled with diversity. I went to schools that were... I mean, the idea that Martin Luther King said, I have a dream that one day white children and black children will walk and hold... I don't even know what the fuck the quote is. Um, I should probably look that up, to be honest. I'm going to find the actual quote. Uh, oh my god, this is a long-ass speech, bro. Shit. Uh, whatever I'm not gonna find it but it basically achieved Martin Luther King's dream because there was like 50% white people 50% minorities and people all got along people all hung out together and most of my friends were not white back at, back home and it was a good experience I think um so I basically said all I there were cameras in all my schools and things went pretty well it was like I wonder why a school would need so many cameras. Have you been to a fucking school without cameras, dog? Shit. I mean, that's... I feel more safe at a diverse school with cameras than at a not diverse school without cameras. Because you already know them fucking white boys gonna be stealing my shit, bro. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't trust these people, bro. I don't trust these fucking white people, bro. Uh, zero white on black rapes. Zero. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. Uh I mean this was just a stupid comment. If they don't work, they'll starve. That's the that's a fact. That's a fact. See these if I mean the argument that oh these people aren't gonna work, they're just lazy and they'll live off welfare. I mean, that's simply a myth. The idea that these immigrants are all on welfare, and I mean, I don't, illegal immigrants are not allowed to get welfare from my understanding. Let me look that up, too. Let me see if I can actually find it this time. Mm. 
driver's licenses. So it appears that they're not legally entitled to these benefits, but they do in fact receive them. So I mean, that's iffy because then they're getting those benefits illegally and I mean, that's just straight up illegal. So we already kind of banned that shit. So yeah, they're not allowed to get welfare and I don't think it's as prevalent as these people make it seem. Um, oh, also, I love this. Sure, buddy, keep dreaming. Oh, where's the argument? He didn't make an argument. Just saying, so oh shit, I did not want to like that. Just saying something super confidently doesn't make it an argument. You have to provide some evidence for your claims. And yeah. So make sure to make arguments when you're talking to me. Dude, the Cato Institute f is funded my Coke. What, uh, your Coke? What? You spelled Coke wrong. Coke, Coke is C-O-K-E-N. I'm confused. I'm, this, this is a really weird word to include here. Hey, for those of you who want to uh, comment on my videos, be sure to speak English. If you're going to criticize immigrants, you got to know how to speak English yourself. All these immigrants don't know how to speak English, and they're coming to this country. But wait, wait, you can't speak English, though. What the fuck? Learn how to type, dumbass. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, I, this is more just shitting on, this video is more meant to just shit on, uh, gripers and just the stupid comments down here, um, but promote globalism, free trade, and for, I'm not a globalist. I'm like anti UN. Um, so that's one thing. Free trade, free trade is very beneficial to everybody. Uh, because if you get things from overseas, you get them cheaper and you get more stuff in the end. You get, I mean, trade is win win. So, uh, prefer cheap immigrant labor forces. I have no problem with uh, cheap labor because it makes things, it makes goods cheaper, it increases output. Um, increase innovation since that since these companies will have more money to spend after labor costs and just in generally is general is better for the economy and since the economy is us it's better for us uh, this is a long ass chain um, maybe I should I'll, I'll read it uh, let me just <laughs> oh my god <laughs> this guy having the show is fucking retarded you can see the soy dripping out of his dumb brain not in his ears Oh my god. <laughs> oh man, the soy is dripping out of my ears, bro. The soy is dripping out of my ears. Oh my god. <laughs> Make a fucking argument, bro. Why why are you you have such little self-esteem. You just got to go under it. Yo, all caps, you're fucking stupid. What the fuck? You're the stupid one. No, I'm not stupid. What the fuck? You're the stupid. Sorry, I sounded like Shank Shank for that for a little bit. That was funny. Um <laughs> oh my god uh one word optics for someone who's so obsessed with iq you seem to have a pretty low one give me an argument please yeah, absolutely please give me an argument um and then yeah yeah i mean this whole all this caps lock shit oh my god it's so annoying okay uh there's so much comments under here is me uh, there's so many comments in here. I'm just gonna try to read the read the main comments here. Um, it's been proven that non-Western migrants have a net fiscal impact on welfare state uh, welfare. See, here's the thing. I'm not advocating for uh, welfare to be given to immigrants. That's not something that I want. That's one thing that I view as something negative. But the fact is that they largely don't give uh, welfare to immigrants, and I'd rather advocate for less welfare or no welfare for immigrants than advocate for no immigrants at all because immigrants cause a lot of good to the economy and to all of us since we are the economy. Um, yeah, automate. Well, no, I'm not going to get into automation. Automation, we always find ways to employ low skilled labor. That's always been true throughout history and it will be true forever. Um, I don't know who Nick Clegg is. Um. Oh, I think I looked him up. He was some, like, globalist-type politician, but I don't know. Uh, see, the lining the pockets of the tribe. What? 
this is a very incoherent concept. What the fuck is the... Okay, so I'm not someone who believes in trickle-down economics, and I don't give a fuck about GDP. I care about the fact that these immigrants are going to make goods cheaper for us, make production cheaper, and it leads to innovation, cheaper goods, more production, all these very good things. But, I mean, they don't they don't understand this. Quality of life has been on a sharp decline since the 60s. No matter how many... Oh my god, you're so fucking stupid. Look at all this fucking new technology we have. How can you say that quality of life is going down? Um, people have been bad with their mental health. People have been struggling with their mental health. I mean, that's that 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 is true. But that is not the fault of the economy. That is the fault of people not thinking rationally. It's the fault of the schools who teach people to not think rationally and different things like that. Um, yeah, that was a long ass chain. Uh. At least admit you don't care about workers while you're repeating Milton Friedman talking points. Um, I mean, yeah, this comment says it all. It, it, it depends what you mean by caring about, about workers. I don't think everyone should be forced to sacrifice for them, but I do think that they're humans being with rights that the government should respect. So if so, I care about workers, but you don't see to, seem to agree with my conception about what caring about workers means. Yeah, these people want us to use force to force people to be in unions and just, yeah, it's just not a good sort of thing. Um, this video is so good. Spell dog spelling. I don't know. Maybe maybe that's a fucking maybe that's a fucking misspelling for like a meme or something. I don't know. Uh, watching all this guy's hilarious. Watching all the grapers tear him apart. He obviously thinks he's such an intellectual. Probably watches secular talk and sk and shields for Kyle Kalinsky. <gasps> No, fuck Kyle Kalinske, bro. I, I, I do watch Secular Talk um, quite a bit just to see that perspective on the left. Um, but, yeah, I'm not a big Kyle Kalinske fan. Yeah, you obviously don't know anything about my beliefs if you associate me with Kyle fucking Kalinske. God. Medicare for all. Free college. A living wage. I don't believe in any of those things, dumbass. If you've ever watched any of his videos, you know what I mean when I do that whole, like, list shit. With all... With all do um i mean maybe maybe this is not bad uh with all i just don't like it when people misspell things i don't get how you can go type a whole comment have all these fucking typos and not notice it i am fucking autistic about typos bro if i see it one typo i'm like i go back and change it immediately but i guess these people aren't as focused as as a intellectual objectivist like myself um in fact all identity is dead because oh, exclusive right here. Can make party and become even bluer as they assimilate to the west you know collective it i mean this is just uh let me see what i responded just give me a backboard and jump off oh shit that's not good um yeah why should the government determine the ideology that people of our country have like, that's, that's not the government's role, is to say, okay, this is the acceptable ideology, and you have to believe this ideology to be part of this country. I mean, the second a fucking Democrat gets into office that has this power, they can do the same thing to you, and that is what tends to happen. I mean, that's how people conceptualize rights so poorly. They use rights to defend themselves, but then they sacrifice rights all the time to, when it, the, second that, the second that it can be used to... Uh, attack another person, uh, attack another ideology, or to violate the rights of another ideology. It's a war between the Jew-controlled fake right and the real right for the American people. <laughs> oh my God, the anti, the rampant anti-Semitism is so obvious. It's just, oh my God, it's so fucking cringy. Just looking, the Jews control everything. Where's there evidence for this, please? Sure, the Jews are like, there's a lot of Jews in higher media and stuff, but I mean that's. That's because that, I mean, I have a whole explanation of this in my anti-Semitism video, but that's basically because throughout history, the Christians have been anti-usury and didn't go, didn't become bankers. So the Jews became bankers and they became more influential because they were the ones who were the bankers. And there's nothing wrong with banking. It's just self-interest and self-interest is good. Okay, let's do this. Immigrants don't commit more crimes than non-whites do. So are you advocating for an ethnostate then? Because my point is that um, we shouldn't ban immigrants because they're criminals, um, because they're not criminals. I mean, that's a simple statistic. Non-whites committing more crimes 
wait, hold up, we were talking about who we should kick out of the country. Do you want to kick out non-whites out of the country? Oh, shit. Black, yeah, whatever. Okay. See, this is stupid. Um, I'm still not... It's still racist to give harsher penalties on the black community. That's stupid, even if they asked for it. Um, uh, what did I respond to this? Yeah, I mean, collective statistics are in, collective statistics can't be used against individuals. Um, keep reading off those Ben Shapiro talking points. I'm not a Ben Shapiro fan. Um. Dude, you literally shit out the same talking points. I mean, give me an example. Uh, he doesn't. Ben Shapiro doesn't know how to argue for freedom. He doesn't really believe in individual rights either. I mean, he's like, oh wait, if 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 I mean if a state wants to ban porn, it's completely fine because if a state wants to take your rights, who gives a fuck? I mean, it's it's the state. It's not it's not the federal government. Um, why? Thank you for the shekels. Thank you for the shekels, dog. Um. Well, you're clearly an idiot. He was a mental dog. Um, <laughs> yeah, not to oppose to denial and blasphemy against Jesus, but... Oh, yeah, they're talking about the Talmud. The Talmud is... I mean, they shit on the Talmud because it's like... They believe it's like blasphemous against Jesus and talks shit about Jesus all the time. I mean, I don't fucking care. Shit on Jesus all you like. Jesus was a fucking... Yeah. Whatever. Um, you always gotta love the anti-Jewish rhetoric coupled with meaning, meaning state, meaningless statements. Uh, there's very little difference between America first and all right. This person said, it's America first, not all right. It's honestly the same thing. You're over-focused on demography. You're focused on race and IQ. You're focused on race realism. Um, you're focused on Israel and Jews and the JQ and all that shit. Like, it's very, very clearly all right. It's, I mean, <laughs> why do you guys, like, disassociate yourself from them? You guys would have more allies if you teamed up with Richard Spencer. You were cringe and blue-pilled. Oh, you got me, bro. Oh my god, you got me. I've never I've never thought outside of my NPC little bubble. Oh my god. That's why I'm a fucking centrist neoliberal shill. Oh my god. I'm Oh my gosh, yes. Impeach Trump. Yes, impeach Trump. Oh my god, what a big win. Like shut the fuck up. Oh my god. I'm not I'm not fucking blue pilled. Like oh my god. Blue pilled cook boy. Oh my god. Get out of your fucking mother's basement and go have sex with a real woman. God damn. This this is the this is the type of boy calling me he called me a fucking cuck. This is the type of dude who <laughs> This is the type of dude whose girl is like, oh, can I can we can we try having sex with another can I try having sex with another guy? I'm just I just need to like expand a little bit. He's like, Well, I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, are you gonna are you oh really? You're gonna I mean then I'm gonna have to break up with you then, I'm sorry. He's like, No, please don't break up with me. No, you can have sex with the other guy, just come back to me, please, please and then he goes home in his room and starts jerking off to fucking transgender porn at the idea of his girlfriend going to <laughs> going to have sex with another man. Alright. He looks like he is on drugs, don't insult the handicapped guys. Um Definitely not on drugs. I have a higher IQ than you, bitch. Got him. Oh, my God. Sorry, I actually go on the internet and express my opinions via talking rather than uh, anonymous comments. I mean, I have my I have my name on this channel for a reason. Oh, shit, I disliked all of these fucking comments. I mean, they're so stupid. It's all just <laughs> fucking insults. There's nothing to argue with here. Um... You, you, you're like a robot. Does your seat in the auditorium have a plug? Yeah, bro. I'm so pro automation, bro. I'm, I'm a robot. We're taking over, bro. We're taking over this country. We're taking all your jobs. Uh, you've created a make believe, um, the power to establish uniform. Sure. I mean, yeah, we have a job to establish laws of naturalization, but my argument would be Oh my god. Uh, if you want to also, if you want to talk about the Heart Seller Act, look up the video, the debate with uh, Nick Fuentes and Destiny, because Destiny kind of rapes him in that debate. But, anyways, make believe Western civil Western civilization is great because of individual rights. We were put in the dark ages by your by the fucking Christianity that you guys are so obsessed with. 
Um, so yeah, individual rights, baby. Let people in. That's what individual rights requires. Let people in who don't have diseases and don't have criminal backgrounds. The choosing a rule of naturalization um, basically means, for me at least, this is the sort of rule I would advocate for: no diseases, no crime. Come in. That's basically it. Um, the Heart Seller Act. I mean, the fact is the the elective representatives of the people voted for this act so it's not going against the will of the people um the argument is oh they didn't like the consequences of the act you can't predict the consequences when determining what the will of the people was at the time these people didn't know the consequences nobody knows the fucking consequences so you can't say oh because these were consequences that people wouldn't have liked th this law wasn't the will of the people it was the fucking will of the people because people because people elected representatives who voted yes on it and the people who disagreed with it, they added like different ca uh, different parts to the bill, relating to oh you can you can, they added different parts of the bill to appease to those people, so everyone basically agreed to this act. You were thinking backwards. Uh, I'm thinking forwards. The only way for the Western world to survive is to accept. Oh my God, this comment. Yes, I'm so glad we get to end with this one. Oh my God. Yeah, um, the only way for the Western world is to survive is to accept communist ideologies. This will lead to economic weakness, thus making everyone poor so the brownies and the third worlders don't come to the Western world. The enemy of the West is their capitalist ideas. Being poor but having a small, strong military and police like the Democratic Republic... Wait, the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, North Korea, will lead to ethnic purity and thus to... What the fuck? Who right? I don't know. White people survival. Thank me later. Yeah, thanks, bro. Thanks so much for for advocating to turn America into into North fucking Korea. Thanks so much. I really want to live under Kim Jong Un and North Korea and not have any individual rights for myself. Oh my god, this is terrible. This is so bad. Uh, yeah. So that's it. This was my biggest video, our uh, most hated video. Um, 64 likes? How about 65, baby? Oh, dislikes. 64 dislikes? How about 65? Hell yeah. So I think that's it for this video. Uh, thank you all for watching this shit, and yeah. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.